What's going on guys, it's uh, Juan here today. I wanted to drop a little bit of Instagram knowledge for you guys. I know this could be very useful for a lot of people who are trying to gain an audience uh, in the Instagram community. It doesn't matter what kind of niche you're in. Uh, I think these tips will be very valuable for you guys. Um, I have been able to grow personally my gaming Instagram from 1.8 thousand subscribers to about almost close to 6,000 as of today. Uh, and this is within the span of six months, probably a little bit less than six months. So yeah, quickly, I'm gonna go over all these tips and tricks. If you guys have anything of value to add to the conversation, just drop it in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Anyways, let me get right to it. So personally, there's something that I like to focus on that I actually like to call the three C's. Uh, this is content, consistency, and community. Uh, so very quickly, I'm gonna go over those three things and some other tips and tricks that will help you guys out. Before I get into the details of how you can grow your account very quickly, uh, you're gonna wanna pick out your niche. So basically what your Instagram is gonna be out about. Uh, is it about yourself? Is it about travel, food? Is it about gaming, books? Doesn't matter. Pick what, you want, uh, pick what you're gonna wanna write about, post about, create content for, and then stick to that. Uh, after you've picked, it's time to get to work. So first thing first, you're gonna wanna set up your profile to be appealing to the eye. Uh, once somebody lands on your page, the first thing they're gonna see is your profile. You don't want it to be messy, you don't want it to be cluttered. Uh, you wanna be very direct. You want people to first land on it and know exactly what your page is about. Uh, as for me, I pretty much label everything that I'm about. I'm just a normal guy, a geek, who is into video games, uh, mainly creating content for Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, so if you're into food, uh, maybe you wanna let them know that you might be into vegan food. That could be a very good way to let people know straight off the bat what you're about. So I think that's a very, very important key detail there. First glance, let everybody know what you're about. So if you're using other social medias and you wanna branch off, uh, maybe send some of your followers towards like your YouTube, your Twitter, anything like that, you're able to do so within uh, the bio. So it's one of the first things your followers are going to see. So if you do have those, plug those in. I think those are very important. Just make sure you let people know that they're there because if you don't, people are not really gonna go and click on it on their own. And also Instagram lets you put Instagram highlights on your main page. So if there's something very specific that you'd like people to see right off the bat, right when they first land on your page, you can create these highlights, people will click on them and it'll show them what you want them to show them. Uh, I personally like to put my YouTube channel, um, some of my gaming accounts, that way people can add me and play with me. It makes it a little bit more engaging. Next thing you're gonna want to do, especially when you're growing your audience on Instagram, you're gonna want to make your Instagram account into a business account. Uh, once you turn your Instagram into a business account, this gives you statistics. It gives you a lot of information about uh, how many people are clicking on your posts, who's engaging with what, what time of the day most people that follow you are active. Uh, this is incredibly important, especially when you're posting content on a daily basis and you're actually trying to aim for um, a bigger audience. So here I just wanna quickly take a look at how you can view your insights and what exactly they mean and how you can use them to help your content and your page grow a little bit quicker. So right here at the very top, you'll see um, there's a number that tells you how many profile visits you've had in the last seven days. Just go ahead and click on that. I've apparently had 1,666 profile visits. All right here on the uh, main page of your insights, you'll see every single day which days have been the busiest days for you on your uh, account. As for me, I, I was kind of MIA Thursday through Sunday. I, I actually went on a road trip, and I, don't really, I didn't really engage or post a lot within uh, right here on my Instagram, and it, it shows. It really shows. Wednesday, I was active. Thursday was the next day that I was not on. So it kind of shows your interactions here. It'll show you your profile visits, how many people click on your website, which is just basically those links that you put in your bio. So 16 people are clicking um, out of my page onto my links for my YouTube and Instagram and Twitter uh, a week. So not that many, could be more. But like I said, you got to tell your people to click on those links. Uh, emails, two people have sent me emails. And here, the discovery is how many people are seeing your page and your content. So within the last week, uh, 60,000 people have seen my content on, on Instagram here. Uh, I've been able to reach over 9,000 different accounts, which is a pretty good number. Of course, you're gonna wanna try to 
keep working on aiming for more. Uh, let's go to content here. So here your content, it'll show you how much, uh, how many people have seen your content. So this first post right here, over 4,000 have seen my post. Uh, stories shows you your stories as well. I honestly don't really use this tab all that much uh, If I want to get some more insight within a specific picture or anything like that I go directly to the post Goes down a little bit as you can see this one has gained over 660 likes you go to insights And then it shows you a little bit more info. It's reached over 3,000 different accounts uh, 31 different profiles have visited my page through this post 21 different comments uh, nine people have sent out this post for somebody else to see right here. It shows you right here and the nine. <clears throat> 31 people have taken actions from this post. I honestly don't really know a lot of what that might mean. Uh, right here, down here, it'll show you more info on the on the picture itself. So over, like I, like I said, over um, 4,000 people have seen this post. Over 3,000 different accounts. Um, from the home page, over 2,000. From hashtags alone. So basically when you make a post, you're putting hashtags in your post over different over 1,800 different people have only have found my picture through hashtags. Um, hashtags are very important. Every time you post, you're going to want to add as many specific hashtags as you possibly can get. Uh, I personally like to add anywhere from 20 to 30 hashtags here. And you can tell uh, the hashtags that I posted. I went out of. I was out of town for the Isogenics convention, so I posted Isogenics. Um, also, this picture is about gaming, so I posted that it's for gamers, gaming. Uh, it's a Nintendo Switch, so I posted that it is a Nintendo Switch. And then I posted some of the individual games that are right here, just laying at the bottom of the page. Um, so you want to be a little bit precise of what your picture is about. So if your picture is a about steaks, make sure you put it's about grilling, steaks, anything like that. So let's go to audience here in audience it'll show you some of your uh, top locations so most people that are seeing my content are from las vegas next up is new york and mexico um the age the age range of people that are viewing and enjoying my content um it's mainly anywhere from 25 to 34 years old uh, and then 18 to 24 and then lastly the third uh, biggest one is 35 from 44 years of age uh, as far as gender Mainly men, of course, uh, I feel like mainly men are into video games compared to women. It also shows you right here at the very bottom, the followers, uh, what time most of your followers are active during the day. So this is very important and very crucial when you're posting your content. Um, you're going to want to post your content when most people are active. That way more, more people will like your post. It'll get more engagement, more comments, and therefore Instagram will push it out to more people to see. Uh, that is very crucial for your content to do very well on Instagram here. So I like to post my content anywhere from 6 to 9 in the morning. That way by the time 12 p.m. reaches, uh, more people are going to be able to see my content. You're always going to want to aim for those lower halves. So if, you, if more people on your Instagram, if more people on your Instagram are active between 3 a.m. to 12 p.m., you're going to want to post it a little earlier. Uh, never... I. I wouldn't recommend posting too late throughout the day because not a lot of people are going to see so your content is not going to do this great. So definitely aim for those earlier times. And now that the basics are out of the way, I'd really like to hop into the three C's, which is content, consistency, and community. These three things, in my opinion and experience on Instagram, uh, is what really will push your Instagram to grow more of an audience a lot quicker. Uh, nothing is overnight, of course, so don't expect results to happen overnight. Like I said, I've been doing this consistently for over a year now, but within the last six months is when things have really started to pick up. So the first C is content. So you're gonna want to make good content. Of course, this is what drives your page. This is what makes people want to stay. So the better it is, the better of a retention of people that are coming into your page. You'll want to have great photos, captions that are engaging, and of course, a little bit of creativity goes a really long way, uh, especially when you're trying to set yourself apart from the millions and millions of people that are using Instagram every single day. Be different, be creative, make things that you would want to see, make things that you enjoy to look at on an everyday basis. I personally love taking photos of my collection and I like editing 
uh, colorful backgrounds into the photos. I feel like personally, I like to look at those things. Also, it kind of sets me apart from my niche. Uh, a lot of the people in the gaming community like to take photos of just kind of minimalistic white backgrounds. I personally love that, but there's so many I feel like I couldn't stand a chance against them. So I add color into my photos. So separating yourself from others in style uh, will make you kind of unique. It'll make you more attractive and it's ultimately what's gonna get you that follow. So the second part of the three C's is consistency. Of course, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep posting. What I'd recommend is for you guys to post every single day, uh, mainly because Instagram works off the algorithm. Uh, nobody really knows how it works. It's AI. Uh, it's pretty much adapting learning every single day, but this algorithm is basically what decides who's going to see your post, when they're going to see your post. Uh, I'll go a little bit more into detail as far as, as I know. Basically, the more engagement one of your posts have, lights, let's say it's uh, more comments, more likes, more people will see it. So at first, only about 10% of your followers will see it. Uh, you get more engagement, it bumps up, and so on and so forth. So the third C is community. And I feel as you're growing an audience, you are growing a community. You're growing a group of people that love to engage in the content you're making they love to help out people within your own community they like what you stand for and they like you as a person so community is very important and by building a community what i mean is becoming a part of your niche so as for me it's gaming um, you like to support the ones creating content within that community you'll want to connect with these people on a daily basis by liking their posts commenting on their posts uh, sending some DMs here and there. Doing so, you'll be supporting people's content and thus people will want to support you as a creator as well. Of course, if they like your work, if they like what you're posting, they'll definitely show that support back. And that's really important when you're building that community of people who are just there to support each other, you know? Always help people, support people, especially when they're growing, when they're coming up, because within time, that support will be shown right back. You're gonna wanna be very genuine when it comes to the support you're showing people. So when you're dropping a comment, don't just drop some emojis. Don't say nice, thanks, cool, nothing like that. You're going to want to, yeah, write out a paragraph. Tell them what you like, tell them what you didn't like. Show, give them a little bit of feedback on what they could do better in the future. Anything like that goes a really long way. It'll make people appreciate you commenting on their posts a lot more maybe it'll get them to follow you so to recap content consistency and community uh, the most important things in growing an audience on instagram again i really hope this has helped you guys in some sort of way um, if it did or if you guys have any more advice or tips tricks anything like that to add to the conversation again just drop them in the comment below i love to know what's been working for you guys what isn't really working uh, i know instagram changes a lot and the things we have to do to grow changes with it um, but with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching peace